So this video is dedicated to my friend Darren Marion who passed away November 14th, 2021. And Darren was a very big inspiration for me to do videos. If you look at my videos before November 14th and my videos after November 14th, you'll see that they lag. And the reason why is because if I didn't put a video out in a couple of days, uh, my friend Darren would, uh, he'd hit me on Skype and say, come on, bro, let's go. You know, let's make a video. Let's do it on this. You should do a video on that. You should do a video on this. And uh, he was just a great inspiration for me. Darren was a hulking figure. He was around 6'4", 6 6 300 something pounds, 320, 330 played rugby and football. He was a he was a big guy and he wound up passing from heart failure. And uh, I just want people to know what type of guy he was. He was just a great guy, great family guy and I miss him. All right, guys, so you're gonna love this lesson. It's all about reviews, all about reviews. So if you like most people, the way that you get reviews is you send your clients a review link. Because if you just ask the client to review you on Google, most people won't know how to do it. So a lot of people, what they do is they come over to their Google My Business, right? It's now called Google Business Profile Manager. And on their home screen, if you just scroll down a little bit, it says get more reviews right here. And what they do is they click this review link and then just right click, I'm sorry, just click it and then right click it and you copy it. See that? And I already put it in my notepad. So this is the review link that I would, that I would uh, send over, I would email over to my customers and say, hey, if you had a good experience, please give us a five-star review. And a customer, uh, if I wanted to rank in local SEO, would say, uh, I met with Mindsaw. Uh, they helped me with our local SEO for our plastic surgery business. And they got us to the top of the three-pack in just a couple of months and blah, blah, blah. Well, what Google is doing is Google is putting together a database on every business. And there's a couple of boxes, there's a couple of columns in the database that you should be concerned with. The first column is your brand. Do people know your brand? The second one is your, your, your location. Do people know where you're located? Does Google know, I keep saying people, does Google know where you're located? And does Google know what you do and what keywords you're trying to rank for? So when you get a review that has your brand, that has your geo, your location, and also has your keywords, that's a home run. Well, Google also looks at the link. How did they get to where they, to where, to, to leave a link? Well, most of the ways that, that, that customers get a link is, is, is through a link very similar. But customers also do some crazy things. You know, when I was a kid, I was in, uh, I, I did karate maybe for about seven years. And as you start learning karate and you got up there higher in the belts, when you fought a white belt, you didn't know what they were going to do and you didn't know where the punchers were coming from. So sometimes fighting a white belt was harder. And I make that comparison for this reason is that when you start learning about SEO, you start doing things that other SEOs do, which is say, hey, you need a lot of reviews, get this review link and send the review link over. But let's forget about, let's not forget about what the white belt does. What does the white belt, what does the client do? They may not get the review link this way they may get it another way and let's go through some natural actions that customers will take to give you a review and let's see how that could help you in your rankings all right guys so play, pay very close attention here very very close and you may have to rewind this a couple of times watch this i'm going to show you a real good trick 
So if I type in the keyword plastic surgeon and I scroll down, now I'm trying to rank for plastic surgeon. You could use this in place of any keyword. Just imagine the keyword that you're going for. So what I'm going to do is scroll down. I'm not in the three pack. Now this isn't a client of mine. I'm just going to pick, okay. I'm going to pick this fella, David Halpern. And I'm going to click his, uh, his uh, Google My Business. And then I'm going to click his reviews. And then I'm going to click write a review, right? Because I'm going to write a review using the keywords people often mention. So these are all the keywords that I would probably use in my review. Right? Pay attention. Now, write a review. See, it comes right here. Okay. Now I'm going to take this link. Now I'm going to take this link. I'm going to put this link into my notepad and let's see what we see here. This is the same link. It's bringing you to the same place, but it's using more, more code. Okay, so it shows that somebody did a Google search and they searched for this keyword, plastic surgeon. You see that? You see that? It showed that somebody did a Google search and this is the keyword that they searched for. Okay, so you should be doing the same thing that I'm doing. You should be looking for yourself in the Google 3-pack. If you're not in the Google 3-pack, click more places. Scroll down until you find yourself. Copy that link and put it in a notepad. Okay, guys, so now we take another keyword, which is Tampa plastic surgeon. Remember the last time we just put in plastic surgeon. I'm here in Tampa, so I got all the Tampa uh, plastic surgeons, but uh, this time I specifically put in Tampa plastic surgeon. And let's see where this client is again. Okay, so here's David Halpern. Here's David Halpern. I'm going to click the GMB. Remember, we're just trying to see the address that Google gives us uh, to write a review. And when I click write a review, okay, now I want to take this link. So I just come to the top and I click it. So I highlight it and then I right click it and just copy it. Now I come over to my little notepad. Now this is for this is for Tampa Plastic Surgeon. And you will notice right here, Tampa Plastic Surgeon. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to create several of these links. And I want you to go after all the keywords that you're trying to rank. So, for example, I'll show you, I'll show you an example. If I was uh, if I was doing uh, David Halpern's, if I was doing his uh, his uh, SEO, his local SEO, I would go to I would type in maybe A, right? A plastic surgeon near me, and I would scroll down. And I would look for David Halpern again, and he may be on the set. Here we go, over here, right? And I would click that, and then I click his reviews, and then once again, I copy the address, and then once again, right? I go after all my keywords and vary them. See this? A plastic surgeon near me. See that? So in the review, I would put something like, I was looking for a plastic surgeon near me, and I came up and I saw uh, David Halpern, who is a, a, a qualified or a board certified plastic surgeon. He does, um, his office was close to me. 
I needed, uh, had a scar on my hand, right? I would try to, I would try to use all these, as many of these keywords as possible if I was writing a review for this client. And I would suggest that when you send a link over to somebody, people really, most people aren't great writers. It may not be a bad idea since you know how to write a review, maybe is to uh, send them something that they could start with, right? And, and, and try to squeeze in these, <laughs> try to squeeze in these, these terms. Okay, now I'm gonna show you one more. I'm gonna show you one more trick. All right, guys, and here's the last one. So I am going to try to get customers from certain uh, locations. And in this area in Tampa, there's a baseball stadium called Tropicana Field. And I would think probably between innings, people are on their phone. Is that fair to say? And people are looking for certain things like tow trucks and uh, locksmiths and maybe plastic surgeons. I don't know. But I, I'd want to be in an area that holds 30,000 people, right? Think about state, there's, there's gold right there, what I just said. Think of places that are holding 30, 20 plus thousand people for three hours. Concerts, stadiums. You want your result to come up in that area. Tropicana Field holds 40,000 people but they mostly never get more than 11,000. But you get the idea if they have a concert or something, right? Think about places that have concerts that have a mass of people in your area. Type in what you do. Plastic surgeon, locksmith, tow truck, lawyer, DUI lawyer, and type in the, the, um, Type in the, the, the field or the, the venue where there's 30 or 40,000 people in your area. Okay? Plastic surgeons near Tropicana Field. Okay? I scroll down. Oh, David Halpern isn't there. Let's see where he is. Let's see if he's even here. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to click his GMB. I'm going to click his review. I am going to copy his link and I'll put it in my little notepad. This is another link that I'm going to send to some friends, Cust <coughs> customers, I mean, uh, customers, of course. And in this link, you're going to notice that it says plastic surgeon near Tropicana Field. So I'm going to get some reviews with some of these keywords in it. Right? Because I want to show up by try I should make a whole video on that because I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff like a whole strategy for especially for tow trucks and locksmiths. Like People pay a lot of money. Think of the money that plastic surgeons pay or that anybody, anyone pays to be like in Tropicana Field or Wrigley Field or uh, City Field or Yankee Stadium. Nobody's even looking at those ads. Everybody's glued to their phone, looking at their phone. Right? So you want your business to show up in those big stadiums. And how do you get ranked there? Well, this is a great way right here. Right in the URL, it says somebody was searching for a plastic surgeon near Tropicana Field. You send this link to your Goomba. Say, hey, Goomba, fill this out. Use the word Tropicana Field and plastic surgeon. Go ahead, make something up. Say something nice about me, right? Use my service, right? Guys, listen, I gave you gold here for free at no, at no charge. If you're interested in, to, in booking a consultation with me, I'd be happy to um, do that. Shoot me over an email 
or a text. Here's my text address. And um, if you'd like to work with me, I, you know, and, and for me to handle your account, that's great. If you just like watching these videos, uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment below or I have a review link if you want to give me a review and say, you know, whatever. But um, I just really get really happy, like, like showing you guys really good stuff. And this is really good stuff. The, if you hung around this long and saw this, this was like, this was the gold, right? So you got to stay to the end. You got to stay to the end to see the gold. Guys, like I always say, please be good to your family. Please be good to your wife and your kids. Give them a kiss. Uh, everybody knows what's going on these days out in Texas, uh, prayers go uh, with their families. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.